make myself clear, XJ9. Jenny. What? Jenny! I changed my name to Jenny! Remember? I want to have friends and hang out like normal teenagers do. Hi! It's Bianca. Welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, please subscribe. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a video called My Obsession with My Life as a Teenage Robot, M-L-A-A-T-R. I love My Life as a Teenage Robot. It's an amazing cartoon. It's, it's a Nickelodeon cartoon, and I think it aired on 2003, and then it's basically about a friendly teenage robot named Jenny, Jenny Wakeman, or her mom calls her XJ9, and she wants to fit in her high school while she has to fight evil and protect her home planet. She wants to try making friends and then she used to detest, like she used to resent fighting evil and saving the world, but now that she constantly keeps doing it and she's starting to like it now and seeing how important it is to save her world and how to save her friends. Since Jenny is blue, I'm wearing blue today, I'm wearing my Sydney Serena Dream Chaser shirt. In the beginning of the video, I was reenacting a scene from My Life is a Teenage Robot, but it was from the pilot, My Neighbor was a Teenage Robot, and let me tell you something, Jenny looked drastically different. I mean, she had a metal hem on her skirt, she had blue gloves, she had blue lips, and then she, and she had different legs, and and then her current design, it looks much better. And I, I still like her old design. Her old design was cute, but she still looks cute. She's one of my favorite cartoon characters. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. Really mean a lot to me. Give this video so many likes. And if you're watching this, I don't know what else to say before we get started. Comment, my life's a teenage robot rocks, and, or something. I don't know, I'm just being weird. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, let's get started. My Life's a Teenage Robot, I love this show with all my heart. It was one of my favorite cartoons growing up besides Danny Phantom, SpongeBob SquarePants, Hi Hi Puffy Yami Yumi, and Conan Kids Next Door. Let me know in the comments below what is your favorite childhood show growing up with. I, I don't know if you guys remember this, but I watched Chalk Zone 2. I mean, I love all the classic Nickelodeon cartoons from the 2000s, and plus I'm a 2000s girl. I'm a 2000s kid. I just miss my childhood so much, and it was so amazing. Jenny is one of my favorite cartoon characters. She's cute, she's friendly, she's sweet, and she's she's amazing. And, and I really don't like, and I don't know why people make fun of her. She's a robot, but she has feelings. I mean, she is a person, though. She's not a thing. She is kind of a person because she's a humanoid, a metal humanoid. Also, I drew countless pictures of Jenny, so I have three sketchbooks and I can show them to you. This one is from 2016. You see she, her pigtails are darker than her body. She had a silvery, silvery metal, silvery metal skin. And I created this on January 19th, 2016. I drew a second version in high school, and this was in December, same year, 2016. And the pigtails look slightly different. Oh, and don't mind this gingerbread house drawing. I, I just like Christmas. The close-up, I think I tried to, I tried to draw her lips, but I wasn't that good at perfecting drawing lips back then, but I'm, I'm still practicing. It's good to practice. And then here are some expressions, a full body view, and some facial expressions from 2019. We have her almost like looking back flying. We have her, we have her smiling. We have her doing a shock face. This one's a little unfinished, but I drew her getting ready to blast off with her pigtails transforming into rockets. When she's saving the world, it's a rough sketch, but I don't know if I, I don't think I'll go back and color it soon. The camera quality is amazing, and look at how pretty Jenny looks. Look at her, look, she's so cute. And here is my current sketchbook I've been drawing in, and I'm gonna show you two of my latest Jenny drawings. Actually, now I remember I have three Jenny drawings. So this one is like kind of a live action version, so, she is just doing this fighting 
bendy kneeling crouch pose. She has her fists up. I try to make her eyes look more human-like and plus Jenny doesn't have a nose, she doesn't have ears. And I try to draw lips and, and I drew some lines because her body is metal obviously. And I tried my best to make the pigtails look realistic but I just I'm used to drawing two-dimensional things, but I want to draw something more three-dimensional, so I would really like to improve on that. Here's one of her flying in the air. I I did her fuel, her fire fuel blue, because obviously she's blue. She has her hand down. She's like, woo, I'm flying, check it out. And right here we have this silver thing. It's where when she bends her knees, it can be like that because in the cartoon, her legs weren't like that. It lacked some details because it's a cartoon. And we have her feet. Then I tried making the bolts look accurate on her hair or pigtails. And she has these little pointy things at the end of her pigtails. So I tried to draw them like somewhat rounded triangles. And here is my last Jenny drawing. This is a model sheet or a concept art of her live action form. She's humanoid. So we have her face. Yet again, I am struggling and I'm trying how to design the ponytails because I need to design them how they're going to look when she when she, when she walks around in normal and how are they going to look when they transform into rocket boosters? So we have her hands. We have her feet. We have a side view of her feet here. This is a side view of her body. There's lines and we have her breath. And then right here we have the back. Drawing Jenny is one of my favorite things to do. The character, the person who voices Jenny is Janice Kawa and she really did a good job of Jenny's voice. But if, hopefully, I'm praying that if Nickelodeon would revive the show, I would love to voice Jenny. And I follow a, a small YouTube channel called the My Life as a Teenage Robot fan base. It has really good videos, it has nice content, and they have videos discussing if it works in live action, would it work in 3D, or what if it was never canceled, and plus the show was canceled and I was really heartbroken. I was I always record the episodes on TV and I watch them with my sister. My favorite episode has to be where where she had where she had fun with her siblings and then I, my least favorite episode has to be Missed Opportunities or anything that involves the Crest Cousins because they're so mean and bitchy. And I took some analysis and I realized something that the first day on the episode where Jenny goes to school, she tried to make friends with the Crest Cousins and their friends and they started making fun of her because she was acting weird and she was starstruck and she was nervous and she didn't know how to talk properly since it was her first day at school. So basically they hate her because she was acting weird and they think she's a freak, which she's not. If my life as a teenage robot was live action, Jenny would have to be a live action, live action and CGI hybrid. The actress who will portray her will have to wear a gray motion capture suit just like Dan Stevens wore in Beauty and the Beast when he was portraying the Beast and the and the and the actors who portray the cats in the cats movie. They're basically humans in gray suits, but they they use the computer animation to make them have realistic cat ears, noses, and tails. So if I was thinking if Jenny was live action, I have to the first thing that comes to mind if she was live action is basically Iron Man because Iron Man has weapons and medals and so does Jenny. I mean, she, she can form guns in her arms, she can have fists, she can do a crossbow, she can do saws, she can do kicking, she can she can have wings on that sprout from her back when she goes to space. And plus I kinda am, I'm making a pretend script for a My Life is a Teenage Robot movie. It's called A Teenage Robot Life and I did post a few pictures on Instagram on the ideal cast. Like I put Devin Druid as Sheldon, Mae Whitman as Tiff, this girl Alicia Bow as as a uh, Brit, and then I do Nick Robinson as Brad, myself as Jenny, even though I'm not gonna be an actress anytime soon. And plus Meryl Streep would be the perfect would be perfect for Miss Lakeman. My mom loves Meryl Streep and she thinks she's an amazing actress. So overall, I would love to see a My Life is a Teenage Robot in live action. I think Lady Gaga or Charlize 
Viren would play Queen Vexis. Queen Vexis is the main antagonist of the series. She is the queen ruler of the Cluster Prime, and she wants to she wants Jenny to join the Cluster Prime so they can take over the Earth. And Jenny keeps reviews, refusing because they do horrible things in the past. And plus, even though Jenny doesn't feel like she fits in in her high school, she has friends that still like her. Her friends are Sheldon, Brad, and his little and his little brother Tuck. So she has three guy friends. Oh, I can't do the three right. Four. Now I have four fingers like Jenny. I don't know why, but in cartoons they give characters four fingers. I mean. That doesn't look natural. Is the thumb gonna go away or is the pinky one gonna go away? Also, I would love to cosplay as Jenny for Halloween. I've been looking up some pictures on DVNR cosplay Instagram and whatnot. Plus, the problem is if Jenny was turned into a 3D or live action, she doesn't look anything like a robot. I mean, in the animation, she kind of looks like a robot, but at the same time, she looks like a normal girl, so. So if we have to make her live action, her skin won't be white, it would be like a off-white grayish color, and plus she would have no nose, her ears won't be visible, so her hair would be like this covering the ears, somewhat like a helmet. And then her pigtails will be up like this, and there will be a bolt here, a bolt right there, the pigtail right there, and then I'm trying to figure it out how it will turn around when the rocket is. Rocket is visible. It just, I'm fascinated how to, how to see Jenny in live action. I just love her so much. And besides my two drawings, I also made some Jenny crafts. I made a, a felt Jenny and it has a brooch pin on the back so I can pin it to my backpack. I'm very, I love how the lips turned out. I mean, they look so cute. And the eyes, and then I drew the bolt details with a black sharpie. And then I made a chippy polymer clay Jenny. I used some eye pins for the ponytails so they could stand, and then apparently this one's about to fall off, or oh shoot, this one's about to fall off. It's a little bit spinny. I may not be good at doing polymer clay stuff, but I would love to improve. So there is a blue thing. It's kind of messy. Her white slanted pupil is a little bit off. And then this is what the back looks like. I, I want to try glazing it, but not glaze doesn't always make clay pieces look that better. It's best to glaze them and not glaze them and leave them alone. And we have her little belly button. My camera accidentally ran out of battery, so I had to charge it. And one last look at the polymer clay Jenny. She's so cute. And I have it up there on my shelf with my Sailor Moon figure. So I'm going to place Jenny right over there. Now Jenny is hanging out with Sailor Moon. Okay, you guys have fun. If Jenny was real, I would love to be friends with her. And maybe I can help her fight crime and save the world. And plus, I see some cosplay Jenny pictures, and I really want to cosplay as her, and I want to, and I would like to do a Halloween tutorial of it next year, because this year I'm already full of my Be Awesome Scares series for Halloween, so look forward to that. I do it every year. Hashtag Be Awesome Scares, and I love making Halloween videos. Anyway, going off topic, once in a while, I go on Rob Renzetti's Twitter. He is the creator of My Life's a Teenage Robot, and the reason why My Life's a Teenage Robot was canceled is that it didn't have enough view ratings. And I was like, that doesn't matter. As long as there are people who watch it, they enjoy it. And plus, screw Nickelodeon. I mean, they have the rights for that show, and they have the rights of Danny Phantom. I mean, they should get the rights back to their their creators. I mean, for God's sake. And then I watch Butch Hartman on YouTube, and he talks about his Danny Phantom concept ideas in the college years, and I think that's really fascinating. And I was like, Butch, this is not fair. They should give you back the Danny Phantom rights. Hopefully, my legacy teenage robot gets gets revived and it gets back. I would love to voice Jenny, or if I don't mind, the original voice of Jenny, Janice Kaywell, will be happy to voice her again, so I would give her that. Maybe I can voice a supporting character or something. My Life's a Teenage Robot, this show is such an amazing show. The background, the characters, everything about it is so unique, especially the music. And there is kind of a little war or something like who's the better boyfriend for Jenny 
Is it Sheldon or is it Brad? I used to not like Brad because I thought he was a jerk and a ladies man and he was like, oh, okay. But when I watched an episode of him being married to an alien girl, he admitted that he's not a ladies man and he struggles and then Jenny gave him a kiss and he was like, aww. And I was like, Jenny is so cute. I love her. Then I saved some Jenny artwork on DeviantArt on my favorite. So I do have a DeviantArt account, but I don't use it that often. below and subscribe it really mean a lot to me and by the way see ya